the UCAT. Formerly known as the UK fucking cat, stands for your cat is actually a It's an admissions test for aspiring dentists and doctors that has a score range of 300 to 900. 300 being you got no marks, mate, lol. And 900 being you're actually in a set above set one. And it consists of four, no, five excruciating sections. Section one is verbal reasoning. 44 questions in 21 minutes. It's like doing a GCC English language paper in five seconds. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Section two is decision making. 30 minutes to do 29 questions where you figure out whether Nessie or Maynard to play in a team. This was actually a question I got by Section the way. Section three is quantitative reasoning, aka hell, aka maths are the time pressure. You have to do a maths question every 30 seconds, 36 times. Like if you're set eight, this may not be a great confidence booster for you. Section four is abstract reasoning. And by abstract, I mean this. Like when will I ever look at triangles in then Section five is situational judgment, which assesses how you'd react in a clinical situation. Wrong words from Sophia. Scored from band one to four. One being fab, four being you're low key gonna get rejected from everyone. Now time to show you how I prepped and how I got on. I have 27 days left till my UK CAT exam and I'll show you how I'm revising. So I'm using something called Medify, it's an amazing tool that just makes you do amazing at UK CAT. However, they're not sponsoring me so therefore just don't use it. This is a math question where you look at data and it's like comprehension, it's just a bit of bullshit to be fair. So I did four questions and let's see what I get. <sighs> It's taking bare long time. <gasps> yes, I got 100%! Oh my god, that means I'm doing it so well! So well! So well! <sighs> Well then, what I was gonna do was like a day by day update that would look something like 26 days left, 25 days left, 5 days left! But I soon realised I'd have to fake how I'm feeling every day. These last 20 days, to be completely blunt, have been awful. Coming back to school to resit was definitely humbling and there were a lot of days I was thinking like, why do I have to do this flipping shit exam again? Like, it's so depressing revising for an exam that you've already done. I didn't want to act all happy when in reality I wasn't and it is the bloody day before the flipping exam But this is probably the best I felt in a while So I have one day left to my UK exam and I'll be showing you how much I did over the span of 27 days Yeah, so as you can see this is Medify. This is what I've been using primarily for like the last 30 days If you're doing UK, I'd actually advise you using this even though I'm not sponsored by them like, I can't lie. This is sick. It shows me how I compare to the rest of the people using Medify So yeah, it's pretty decent and as you can see, I've done a fat ton of questions. I don't know how I did that many because literally my face during the questions was like that I was just not in the mood at all. I literally forced myself to do every single one. It kind of shows when I did work. I just thought I was like, yeah, about 200, 180, 102. And then the next week I was like, yeah, zero, zero, zero. That, that week I was going through some shit, let's not lie. And yeah, I've been pretty consistent. And there was a day where I just did a mad amount. Where is it? There it is, 466. Is that me? I think it is. That's when I did like. I had like two full mocks, also a mock is two hours long. So just imagine doing two hours of work, just constantly concentrating, constantly concentrating. Alliteration, thank, thank you. you. These are the mocks I've done. I've, I've left out two for a reason, because the thing about UCAT, it's like an IQ test. So you kind of, you kind of peak, like everyone has a peak and I feel like if I do any more, I'll, my brain will just die. God, I don't think I can do any more, I've done so much. And as the scores rage for 300 to 900, 900 being like, well, how did you get that? Last year I got 650. And if I get that again, I'll actually be gassed because at this point, I just want a solid score. Like, I'm just done with this stupid. I hate this exam, so I, hate, I can't express how much I hate it. All the people that are interested in my scores, so I'll just put up my last mock that I did. So these are the scores I got in the last mock. And to be fair, last year when I used Medify, I got pretty much that. And then the score I got was a lot lower. So I wouldn't use this to gas yourself because I'm literally looking at this. And this score, like the average is like... 750 although that's a good score I'm not going to gas myself because literally when you're in the exam under that fat pressure that you literally if you do shit you're not going to become a dentist my brain was like <sighs> and yeah that's pretty much what I've been doing to prepare I think the reason why I feel so good today is because I know that tomorrow will finally be everything will be over I can just finally concentrate on other things apart from the stupid you catch as much as I call this exam stupid I am doing it tomorrow so I just have to act like I love it like yeah I love doing this exam great so I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm going to be on my way to the exam and I'll film my reaction because I am crazy. I really hope I do well because I can't just have another video where I'm depressed at the end of it. I just can't do that. There are millions around the world watching me. I just can't do that to you. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow goes well and I'll see you there. Plot twist, the day started absolutely shit. My cab decided to show up too early and then decided to leave. Cab I then booked decided to go two miles per hour when I told him at the start to go as fast as you can. That is clearly not fast. Anyways, I made it to the exam and I filmed my reaction after. Here you go. Okay. So I just came out of the exam. I haven't checked my results yet, so I'm gonna check it now. I, 
I don't, I couldn't, I think I might have done shit, I might have done good, I don't know, because like, that exam was fucking hard. Oh, let's have a look. It's black and white. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? What even is that? Oh, that's why it's like... I don't know, I'm, trying, I'm done doing maths, okay? In verbal reasoning, I got 580. Decision making, I got 760. Quantitative reasoning, I got 880. How is that even possible? And abstract reasoning, I got 720. So total score is 2940, and I got band one. How? I thought I did shit. Okay, so what is the average? Oh my god. I got 735 average. So, oh my god. I, d I need to go home and tell every. Oh shit. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh my god. Yo, right now, kick the bass for them brothers and let them know. What? 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 I can't lie, I'm acting like I got into dental school when all I did was do a test and did well. What am I doing? That's the first hurdle done of this fat journey. Yes, I said fat journey. And even though it's bad to get gassed now, like it's so early on, I don't care because literally, you don't know how much work I put into this and it happened. It happened. I don't. Because if I failed this, I literally don't know what I would have done. Like, what would I, what would I have actually done? People that are confused by the score. So, so the total score is 2,940. But you divide it by four to get the average, which is 735. And in the least cocky way, I don't mean to come across cocky, but 735 is like, it's a pretty good score, I can't lie. I'll hopefully ensure that I at least get at least one offer. That's all that, I just want one. I just to remind you of my scores again. So verbal reasoning, I got 580. And verbal reasoning was the first test you do in the UK. So as soon as I did that section, I was like, oh my days, I'm, I'm not becoming a dentist. Also, it kind of makes sense that I did shit at verbal reasoning because I can barely form a sentence. Like, you see like these videos, it, I, look, look, I just, I just flipping proof my point i can't speak but after the breathing i was like you know what like i'm shit at that i know i'm shit at that i just need to like bang out in the next few sections so with decision 760 that's pretty good and the quantitative reasoning i don't know how 880 that means i've got like four wrong which is like how i mean i can't like in the exam i was bad gas i was best smiling at my skin i was like oh my days it's not that bad the thing about this exam it's so relentless so as soon as i was done with quantitative reasoning i was like oh it's done now isn't it nope two more sections abstract and then pipping sjt by the way, that band one SJT is like the highest you can get and I'm just like, I don't know how I got that because I found that part so hard. The most stressful part about today was getting there. I booked an Uber for 8.50 yeah, and for some reason it's like, nope, no you didn't. And I'm like, yes, yes I did. So I try and book another Uber and they're like, there's no drivers available. So I'm like, well, this is a great start. Like I'm stressing about the exam and I'm stressed about a bloody taxi. This is going to look like I'm sponsored by Bolt, but Bolt, that Bolt literally saved my life. I literally called them, I was like, yo B, I need a taxi. And they're like, come. The only problem was that this taxi took 20 minutes to come and I was looking at, you see the map where it shows you where the driver is. He was doing circles, I was like, are you high? Because if we're, if you're high and driving me, my crash. And as I showed you before, this guy took the piss. I literally said, can you go fast? And he was like, yeah, woo woo. Every traffic light went red. I was like, oh, I've never looked at the road more in my life. But I was at the back staring at the road like there's literally the fattest gap in the world. I was supposed to be at 10.15 and it was 10.15 and I was like, shit, I'm nowhere near. So I called the guy and I was like, <laughs> That's basically what I did. The guy was like, yes, calm fam, be as late as you want. So I was like, you know what, yeah, man, so you're chill back here. But then I knew that I couldn't really take the piss. We went to some fat traffic jam. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I opened the door and I ran. I was like, no, I didn't, care. I didn't do that. I said, I'm leaving now, I can't lie. And he was like, oh, it's calm. Do well when you could cat. Okay, he didn't even know what the UK cat was, but yeah. So I got out of the car and I ran. I was like this. <laughs> I was sweating so much. It looked like I just swam to get there. Like, it was peak. Kind of made me appreciate more that I actually got to do the exam. I was like, oh my days, thank you for letting me sit this exam. I was grateful, which is weird. It kind of took away the stress of me doing the UK cat. So during the exam, I was like, oh, I just love doing this exam. See, I don't know how, but everything kind of worked out. That's my story about this Pippin UK exam. I'm not going to say, oh, that's the last time I'm ever doing that in my life because I imagine that I don't actually get offers and I have to do this again. But I just pray to other, please, I just don't want to do this exam again. I've done it twice and that's all I want to do. This was such a big hurdle, both the preparation and doing the test. And now that it's finally done, I'm just so gassed. So now that I've done the UCAT, I can finally concentrate on personal statements, applying to uni, seeing what unis I can actually apply to. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time, man. I'll probably make a skit because you know what? I'm in the mood to do a skit. So three, two, one, bye. bye. i